Hello, in this video I want to show you um, the data management functional block from 18.2 in CodeSys. So what you can do with this um, function block is up to you, but you can manage um, data very, very, very easily and create files, delete files, and override them, append them, and construct the data however you like. For this video, I have implemented the functional block uh, data management from the AT&T library. Um, I have um, a construction from 1000 uh, 1, rows and 10 columns. So here is my data array of strings, which I will fill with some text, row, and then the number of the row, column, and then the number of the column. Uh, did will, this will happen automatically. And after I have the data, I will write it into C file at and C uh, S V. So if you take a look, I don't have this uh, on this uh, folder file, so I'm gonna create it after logging in. So yeah, now you can see this is my data array, which one more time you can construct however you like. But uh, for this video, I decided 1000 rows and 10 columns. So this data uh, array is uh, empty. So if I, I'm gonna force this, this one here and you can see I um, uh, filled this array with row one, column one for one one. And let's say 10, 10 will be, um, row 10, column 10, just just to show you here, row 10, column 10. I still don't have uh, the file uh, folder and I am gonna create it now. So for this task, I have to set my um, mode of to write the mode of the function block at and u of course and I just have to execute it yeah, I received done so my file is created here it is you can open it with with every program you you can imagine uh, in this case I use notepad plus plus and you can see there are 1000 rows, 1000 rows with 10 columns. Of course, you can save data however you like. You can save some parameters for your machine. You can save everything you, you like. And afterwards, you can um, uh, read them back. So even if I change my file from here, let's say it, the first row. I want to have just two columns. The, uh, the other columns should be empty with data, uh, with, should be with no data. And here I can say um, this is the, the ninth. Excuse me, that was something that was not intended. Uh, so the ninth uh, row, I'm gonna delete like uh, um, row nine, column four, or four. So. If I save this uh, file, um, I can read it back. So you can see here, uh, everything is okay. I'm gonna set my um, function block to read. So when I read the data, this data array will be overridden. So let us see, as you can see, now I have uh, row one, column one, row one, column two, and everything else is not here. And uh, the next change I did 
at row nine, I think. Uh, so let me get there. Nine one is here, nine two is here, nine four is here, and then till ten, I don't have anything else. So basically, you can just um, um, change your change your file um, uh, directly with some um, program. It's not a problem. Of course, the AT and uh, function block can also um, append information to the file. So if I want to append, I will now have basically 2000 uh, rows with the information. So these are the first and afterwards I'm gonna append the same information basically. Here you can see, excuse me, there it is. So from here, from row 1001, you can see I started to append the information. If I choose to uh, overwrite the file, I'm just gonna set to write. I'm gonna fill the array again with the um, data that I needed, and I'm just gonna overwrite it. And basically, if I open the file, you'll see that the file is overwritten. Yeah, that's basically it. Of course, with um, the AT and Q data management function block, you can do whatever you like. So you can write your parameters for the machine. You can uh, load the parameters for the machine. You can create a parameter uh, file which which will uh, get the settings for the machine. So basically you can do whatever you like. You can save some programs dynamically into the machine and you can read it afterwards uh, over this um, uh, over this, this function block. Um, if you like this video, give us some thumbs up and um, if you have some questions, check out our website, website and contact us to um, help you with it. So thank you for watching and see you.